Good morning, good morning. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is Phil Lewis, the senior pastor of the New Mount Pleasant Missionary Baptist Church with your morning meditation. This morning I want to talk about only those who do, only those who do, only those who do. Um, Jesus speaks of the self-deception of uh, saying, Lord, Lord, and being religious, but yet not taking action, yet not taking action, only those who do. Uh, Jesus says in uh, Matthew 7, uh, verse 21, and Matthew is a book that talks about the kingship of Jesus, that Jesus is the Jewish Messiah, Jesus is the Christ the Messiah, the anointed one, the king, amen, of Israel. Um, it says here, uh, 721, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only those who do the will of my Father in heaven. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many deeds of power in your name? Then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Go away from me, you evildoers. Jesus is saying that um, in contrast to just words, we must do the will of God. It's not uh, a question of uh, um, uh, words and belief, but it's a question of words and action. We must put into action what we say we believe. Amen. The kingdom, that is what the kingdom of heaven is. It is doing the will of God. It is the reign and rule of God in the heart of men and women, in the mind of men and women, and it, it, really, it um, uh, creates action in the real world. If we are under the rule of God, there, there are certain things we will do. We will go and make disciples. We will, amen, obey the word of God. We will love everyone, even our enemies, and, and that love will be shown in action. It's not, uh, uh, love is an action word. Faith is an action word. And those are verbs. Those are things that we do, and it is seen. Uh, as a matter of fact, after uh, that 23rd verse, Jesus goes on to say, everyone who hears these words of mine, and does them will be like the wise man who built his house on a rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it was built on a rock. But those who hear these words and do not do them will be like the man, or the one who built their house on the sand. And the rains came and the floods um, and the winds blew and the floods came and beat on that house and it fell because it was built upon sand and great was its fall. We must put into practice what the Lord tells us. We must start doing the will of God. It is his will that we as the people of God go and make disciples. Those are students of Jesus. Let us do the will of God today that we may be sure of our salvation. God bless you and keep you. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. We thank you that you've revealed in your word what we are to do, that we are to enter in, that we only enter into the kingdom of God by doing your will, by obeying your word. Touch us this day, as, that as we go forth into our, to our families, to the workplace, to the marketplace, that we would be a people who will do your will, who will put your 
word into action and obey it. We thank you, Lord God, for hearing our prayer. We thank you for the help of the Holy Spirit in doing this. And we pray it all in the mighty master's name, nature, and character of Jesus the Christ, who is our Savior and our Lord and our example. In his name we pray. And for your glory we say, Amen. 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 God bless you and keep you. Is my prayer this morning. Go and do the will of God today. Let us go and make sure that our houses, our spiritual house, is built upon the rock of Christ's truth and in fulfilling and doing that truth. God bless you. Pastor Phil loves you. But remember this, God loves you infinitely more. Be blessed. Take care.